Oak processionary moth, OPM, is an invasive pest of our oak trees. One of the most effective ways to monitor for the population of OPM is to use a pheromone trap. In this video, we will show you how to successfully install and monitor a trap. Pheromone trapping does require quite a few materials. They're relatively inexpensive and can be reused each year. Here's a pheromone trap and lure cage. They come in different colours, it doesn't really matter what colour you use. Saline solution, this helps to preserve any moths caught. You need about 30 grams, that's a couple of teaspoons of salt, to quarter to half a pint of water. If you add a couple of drops of washing up liquid to the water solution, it helps break surface tension so that any moth captures are actually preserved at the bottom of the trap in the water. Here we have the pheromone lure, which is impregnated with the female sex pheromone. It has a relatively short shelf life. It will need to be changed every four weeks and about three times during the season. A bucket or something similar is useful to hold the throw line as it helps stop the line getting tangled. A throw line of 50 metres and a throw bag of around about 12 ounces or 300 grams. To hold the trap in the tree, you need to attach the throw line to a stronger rope of about 30 metres in length and four to five millimetres in diameter. The trap needs to be at least 10 metres in height and to do this, you'll need something like a big shot catapult. You will use this to fire the throw line and bag over the branches of the tree. For transporting the lures, which need to be kept cold, it's useful to have a cool bag and some blue ice packs and binoculars for surveying the tree for any hazards. Okay, so here we're coming to a tree which would be ideal to put up the, uh, the lure. It has to be an oak tree, it has to be at least 15 metres in height because you want to put the trap up at about 10 metres. Um, so this tree is, it's got plenty of options for us to put the trap up in. Before you decide to install the trap, do check the tree for any potential hazards. So there might be OPM nests around, dangerous tree limbs or wasp nests. Pour the saline solution with a couple of drops of washing up liquid into the base of the trap. Put the lure in the cage at the top and put the trap back together. It's important to make sure the lure is secured so it doesn't come out of the trap. You need to make sure there is a small loop at the top of the trap to attach to the rope. It's important to make sure the lure is secured so it doesn't come out of the tree. Opium fly at the top of oak trees. You'll need to find a branch at least 10 metres above the ground to put the trap in. Using the catapult, aim the throw line above the branch you want to put the trap in. Once you've recovered the throw bag, untie it and then tie the throw line to the rope. Using the rope, pull the trap to the top of the branch and tie the rope off at a convenient point. The moths emerge from late July onwards, so it's best to put the trap up in the second or third week of July. Every two weeks, check the trap and every fourth week check the trap and change the lure. When you're checking the trap make sure there's still plenty of saline solution and top up if required. Keep on doing this until at least mid-September. If you do catch any moths and you think it might be oak possession moth please take a photo of them and send them to this address on the screen. <laughs>